Hi, my name is Max, welcome to our economic channel, Max Economics. Dear money, what is dear money? For years we were exasperated with the expression, cheap money. Now, a new one is emerging and is making us wonder regarding its meaning. Dear money, I don't know who coined this term but, for sure, he used an inspired form of style. When are we fond of our money? When they are hard to get. You've probably already guessed, the term is the opposite of cheap money. The term has nothing to do with the nominal value of money. The nominal value of dear money is the same as last year when the money was cheap. The difference is the cost of obtaining them. This cost does not refer to the sale of our working force, expressed as wage, but to the cost of borrowing money. But how did our money become dear? Well, it is all related to Fed politics. To keep the money cheap for so many years Fed reduced the benchmark interest rate to zero. This allowed credits to become quite inexpensive. Sooner or later, a market flooded with cheap money will experience inflation. In 2022, the inflation rate reached a 40 years record value and Fed was forced to repeatedly increase its benchmark interest rate. When the Fed's interest rate is high, the money supply shrinks and the cost of borrowing money increases. Money is not as cheap now, and the cost of borrowing them increases. The rate hikes will continue in the next months or, probably, even years. We are living in a special conjuncture. The money that was cheap in 2021 had a higher real value than the dear money of 2022. You can buy less in 2022 with $100 than in 2021, but it is harder to obtain that amount today. So, in terms of real value, dear money is sometimes less valuable than cheap money. In fact, this is just an expression of the law of scarcity. Money is now relatively scarce, so they are dear to us. We can already see the effects of dear money. We buy less stuff and companies start to accumulate stocks of products. In an economic representation, a decrease in demand will be expressed as a shift of the curve to the left. When the demand shrinks, the offer has to follow to keep the price at the same level. If not, the prices will fall. But seeing that the costs of production increase due to inflation this is not feasible for most producers. So, the producers will have to shrink their number of employees. This will get us closer to recession. To continue our parallel description with cheap money, the demand for real estate is shrinking due to dear money. The mortgage rate increases and houses become less affordable for individuals. These days, if we open any business newspaper, we will see that many real estate developers froze their projects. Dear money means that investors have to be more careful regarding the projects to which they intend to direct their money. The extremely risky projects don't really have any chance to be funded in these times. The investment funds are shrinking and only the ones that have prospects of high and stable revenues get funded. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.